Hi there handbaggers and welcome to the duck's nest. This is the military mom and in this video I have a couple of shout outs. Actually I have three shout outs. I have a couple of musings and I have of course a couple of unboxings. So let us get right into it with the shout outs and the very first shout out that I want to give is to the closet dive her videos are just stunning and creative and inspiring and I sit there like this when I watch her videos and this latest one she did where she was at the um, New Britain Art American Art Museum was I don't I don't know if I can say it was her best one yet I just think it was so imaginative and it makes me wonder how she comes up with what she how she edits her videos it is just amazing to me so shout out to you closet dive we all look forward to your videos the second person that I want to give a shout out to is Pauline Newman Pauline's videos are just so elegant and she's speaks so eloquently and she enunciates and I don't think I've ever heard Pauline use slang which you will definitely hear here at the duck's nest but I just enjoy Pauline's videos and I have to give a shout out to Pauline for the I guess elegance of her videos and last but certainly not least is says what says what has the most wicked sense of humor <laughs> and she always makes us laugh in her videos and i just really enjoy watching her videos and um yeah i still remember that epic one she did with um when she announced her bag band <laughs> and she came in and she talked about how long it was my son even laughed at that one so Thank you ladies for your artistry, your elegance, and your wit. I love watching your videos and wanted to make sure that I let you know that. All right, so the musings I have are going to start with these bad boys. Dooney and Burke dust covers. And the reason that I am bringing these up is because I have these two and only these two in the duck's nest. The elusive light colored muslin, I have not encountered. I have ordered bags from Dooney.com. I have ordered bags from I Love Dooney and I haven't received one yet. Um, however, I did notice that Dooney.com is selling the small size. So I'm wondering if that is why we're not seeing these dust covers. You actually have to purchase them. And are they any better than these two? The, this one, which of course comes with Alto um, bags and this which comes with all our other bags. And I'm not really sure why I'm worried about it because those who follow my channel and drop by occasionally know that I do not keep my bags in their dust covers. But I'm just wondering if that muslin is just worth buying. I guess it's curiosity. So if you have all three types, the muslin, the blue, and the black, would you please do a video so that we would know if the muslin is any better and warrants purchasing over these two I would greatly appreciate it thank you and if there's anyone who has already done that video I'm sorry evidently I missed it so if someone could direct me to it I would appreciate it um, and the second musing that I have is related to these you all if I love handbags and I love cosmetic cases. I love earrings just about with the same fervor as handbags and cosmetic cases. And I have, I have a, 
collection of earrings. Um, this sort of falls in line with the live that Dooney Attic 615 did this past Sunday the 8th where it was all about organization. Um, I have always had my earring collection organized, but it was organized for the space I had in the old duck's nest. That organization has not really worked as well in the new duck's nest. And for a long time, it wasn't an issue because a lot of my earrings were packed away. I have since unpacked all of my earrings, thank goodness. Um, and that's how I found out that the old system doesn't work as well. So what I did was I purchased this. Here's the depth. And then here's the back, and then here's the top. And how convenient. <laughs> so here's the depth of the drawer. And the drawers have these little pieces that you can insert for compartmentalization, which is wonderful because I have big hoops, I have very small earrings, I have chandeliers, um, so I can use these drawers compartmentalized and I can use them non-compartmentalized for like the chandeliers. Um, now, oh yeah, and if you're wondering, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I can fill up, um, yeah, it's, it's a sickness, I'm pretty sure I can fill up this what is this, 60? Yeah, this is 60 drawers. In addition to um, having to find a place for my larger hoops, I also have bracelets. And I love leather bracelets um, and non-leather bracelets. So I have quite a few bracelets as well that obviously... I don't think will fit into that drawer that I just showed you. So I purchased this one. Same depth and everything, just a bit smaller, but it has these larger drawers down at the bottom for my larger hoops, my larger earrings, and um, my bracelets. Now, I do have some bracelets that will fit into the smaller drawers but I also have bracelets that I needed these larger drawers for and I cannot remember what I paid for these so I will put the information and the price in the description box below in case you all are interested in these um, again organization and storage is a very personal thing this works for me. That doesn't mean it will work for anyone else, but just in case it does work for you, I wanted to share this with you. And I have not obviously moved my collection into these drawers. I hope that it works. I'm like 89% sure that it will work. So I will update you as soon as I have my collection stored in these bins. Now, on to the unboxing. Yes, handbaggers, these items were purchased at the coach outlet, and I got a little fancy because I so love the packaging that comes when you select gift wrapping at coach.com or the boutiques. This is the version of the outlet, I guess, gift wrapping. So let me just show you what is in this first box. This 
is the Mia Satchel in Coach Signature in the color Espresso. She has a shoulder strap. She doesn't, I mean, she does pass the elbow test, but she doesn't. But, you know, with a little wiggle, it'll work. So, here she is with the shoulder strap. She also has a crossbody strap. And I really don't know how this is going to look because I have not adjusted it. But I will show you um, as is. So here she is, suspended from my shoulder, and where she is notched right now, it hits at a good spot on my hip. Crossbody, I'm going to have to adjust her because she's a little higher than I want her to be. So I'm just gonna drop her down to this last notch and let's see where she falls. Right there at the hip crossbody. The shoulder strap is a nice wide shoulder strap. And look at the hardware. Let me take that off so you can get a better view. I just thought that hardware was really pretty and it is gold and her obviously her um crossbody strap is detachable and look at this you all this color blocking where this is black and that is pink which is the same as her shoulder strap i think her shoulder strap is really well made and then it carries to her zipper pull. Look at that chain detail on the zipper pull with the loop there. Love the loop and the loop even has um, pink. Here is her gold engraved hang tag. And look at this, oh, isn't that pretty? That dusty pink carries to her interior. This is a um, like a nice cotton. Here's her pink story patch. She has only one interior pocket, which is this slip. She does not have a zip, and she does not have. Um, an exterior pocket. So this definitely is not a bag that I will be carrying when I need to be ultra organized. This is just maybe a, I don't even know if this is a throw and go bag, but um, with all the SLGs I have, I can make her work. Um, but the one thing that is weird about this bag do not have to have my scissors up here. I don't think I have my scissors up here. I wanted to take, okay. This is as far down as her satchel strap will go. I mean her shoulder strap, right? So that's a bit awkward, but to be honest with you, I bought this bag to wear on my shoulder I, I didn't really buy it to um, wear crossbody or on my shoulder with this strap. But it's nice to know that I can use it. Look at that hardware. The loops there. And then the strap is rather thin, but like I said, I... I didn't buy it for that strap, but I just thought that she is just such a pretty bag. And I am 
I'm not quite as addicted to Coach Signature as I am Dooney and Burke Signature, but I do really love this color combination because I am an earth tone girl and I love the browns, the blacks, the grays, the coppers, the golds, the bronzes. So I am always drawn to the espresso color of Coach Signature. So I just wanted to share this lovely bag with you. And my second unboxing, I got fancy as well, with the outlet purchase. This piece that I didn't need, but I'm a handbagger, so there is no logic up here when it comes to SLG's cosmetic cases and handbags. Um, there's a slip on the back. This is a 1941 piece. Oh, well, sorry. I didn't have that in frame. And there's the coach debossed on the back. Here's the front, and I don't know if you can see Coach engraved on the snap. Wrist strap and color block. No, that's not color block, that's uh, a light pink on top and beneath. Pewter hardware, slip pocket here. and pocket, pocket, zippered compartment. And this was bought to go with this Mia bag, but this is, to me, this is just such a pretty piece. And I think the reason I like it is because of the contrast, the very stark contrast of this pink against this black with this light pink strap and then the um, pewter hardware. I loved this and it was on sale. I can't remember how much because I bought it a while ago, but of course I will put both the MSRP and the outlet price in the description box. So there you have it, handbaggers, the shout outs, the musings, and the unboxings. Thank you, as always, for dropping by the duck's nest. And as always, happy caring.